Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we will discuss some interesting Arduino projects. So let's get started. If you're a beginner and want to learn Arduino in a fun and easy way with a free ebook, stay tuned till the end of the video. Number 12. How can you create some beautiful pieces of art? By painting on your own? Instead, you can use your engineering knowledge and let this robot do it for you. Using a couple of servo motors, this robot first randomly selects a color and fills a scoop with that color. The elastics at the bottom get charged up by another servo motor. Finally, the arm throws the color onto the canvas at different angles, thus creating a beautiful masterpiece. And that lets you wonder, is it really made by a robot? There are several parameters that can be varied to create a different art design each time. To sum up, the number of combinations this fling bot can make is displayed on the screen. Pretty huge, right? Number 11. Automatic water filling machines are mostly used in the beverages and soft drinks industry. But have you ever tried to make one at home? By following this project, you can make one. Using a keypad, a user can enter the amount of liquid required. Once the input is taken, a pump starts operating and transfers the exact liquid amount to a container. During its operation, the LCD displays the water flow speed and the volume of water filled in the container. Using this data, it becomes easy to monitor the operation. So with this method, now you can accurately transfer the liquids too. Number 10. One of the most common ways to play games is using a joystick controller. But if you want to get a step ahead and enhance this experience, then you must modify your controller just like Lewis did. For playing his favorite swords game, he made his own fully functional buster sword. But don't worry, the sword is not real, it's 3D printed. To play the game, there are certain gestures programmed. By swinging the sword, the character does some basic attacks. Using the guarding motion, you can dodge the opponent's attack as well. Though the sword is long, and you may feel its heaviness if you play it for too long, it will definitely give you an amusing experience. Number 9. A lawnmower is a perfect tool to cut unnecessary grass and maintain an even grass height, but most of them are costly. In that case, we can rely on the small prototype. It's a fully automatic robot. A powerful DC motor at the front rotates the blades to cut the grass. During its operation, the ultrasonic sensor detects the objects in front of it. If any object appears in the front, the robot changes the course of the path and avoids collision. A separate servo tester is provided at the front to manually control the blade, increasing safety while operating the robot. Make sure to take extra precautions while trying this project. If you want to design better PCBs or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capabilities and MCAD, then you should definitely check out the free trial version of Altium Designer. And do you know that it just got better? With an all-new Altium 365, you can share your PCB designs with a single click. Anyone with internet access can view and comment on your project from a browser with no additional license required. So what are you waiting for? Give it a try and see for yourself. The link is in the description. Number 8. Wireless technology is slowly evolving and improving the way how devices communicate. This is a simple project that shows how everyday objects can be controlled wirelessly. To create a hassle-free circuit without any wires, it uses a wireless transmitter to control the status of LED lights, DC motors, or any other component. Now to reduce the number of wires at the receiving end also, we can use a receiver circuit as well. The transmitter receiver modules work in synchronization and follow each command properly. And the use of PCBs to create a compact circuit at both ends gives the complete project a charming look, right? Number 7. The most common way to change the status of lights is by using a switch. You must have seen a smart switch, but have you seen an RFID control switch? Yes, to turn this table lamp on, you will require an RFID tag. Just tap the tag over the scanner and the bulb glows. But wait, that's not all. It even has three controllers to alter the light colors. By turning the potentiometers, the red, green, and blue colors of the light can be adjusted according to your convenience. 
All this is nicely placed over a triangular PCB that gives the complete table lamp an elegant look. Number 6. Projects involving Tesla coils are one of the most interesting ones, right? The Tesla coil can be turned on and off using a web application. Once on, the coil can transfer the electricity wirelessly without requiring a physical circuit connection. To solve the overheating problem generated by this coil, a small fan is also included in the circuit that is also controlled from the web. Won't it be great that if this small prototype can be implemented on a larger scale? Number 5. This might look like a weird electronics project, but it's actually a 2-in-1 drink temperature monitor. When a cup is placed over the wooden base, the sensor reads the temperature and turns on between 1 and 5 LEDs depending on how hot it is. To measure the temperature without any contact, it uses an infrared sensor that's supported by a structure built from brass rods. These rods also act as an electrical connection between the sensors and Arduino. Among all the drink temperature monitors, it's one of the most innovative and easy to use. What are your thoughts on this? Number 4. In order to have a fresh looking garden, you'll need to water your plants from time to time. But if you usually forget to water them, then this project might be the solution you need. It uses a simple mechanism involving a servo motor that opens and closes a valve at a specific time. The time and duration of watering plants can be adjusted pretty easily. The project is powered by a USB port that gives you the option to connect it using various sources of electricity. By simply automating certain household tasks like this, you can save time and use it to do other work. Number 3. To take the music playing experience to the next level, Volos decided to modify his flute with an Arduino and a couple of LEDs. Now when he plays a note, the LEDs on the flute light up, hence when a beautiful melody is played, we can see a great combination of lights and music. The LEDs blink in the rhythm of the music that gives him as well as the listener a soothing experience. This is a great concept that can be added to the instruments while performing a night show. What are your thoughts on this? Number 2. Sometimes you need to measure the weight of lighter objects precisely. For that, digital weighing scales are available. But what's better than an analog weighing scale for old schoolers like us? It uses a load cell, which is a transducer, that creates an electrical signal whose magnitude is directly proportional to the force being measured. And this result is displayed on the galvanometer. Before using the scale, it requires calibration. For that, three LEDs are provided on the setup. Once completed, the scale can precisely measure the weight up to one kilogram. If there is a deviation from the marked scale, calibration can be performed with the help of a trimmer potentiometer. Number 1. Our next project is a prototype of the parking sensor. It measures the distance using an ultrasonic sensor but with a twist. Instead of displaying the distance in numbers on an LCD screen, this one actually shows how far the object is from the sensor. In the setup, you can see three ultrasonic sensors and the distance is visually shown on the small screen. The graphics are designed accordingly for different displays and each one works perfectly. So, which type of display would you like to use in your next project? If you're interested in learning basic electronics and embedded systems from scratch in an easy and fun way, then you can check our course, ABC of Everyday Electronics, which is available at a 20% discount. And with this course, we will be providing an ebook to master your Arduino skills absolutely free. So waste no more time and click on the link given in the description. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We'll see you again. Goodbye.